year, I mean, you've got just about everybody back. You have a little more security too, you know, new yeah. contract, things like that. This has got to be a lot yeah. of positive things going on. No, there, there are a lot of positive things going on in the program. Um, very excited about our team and certainly uh, the seniors, especially that all four came back. Um, you know, we lost a couple of good players. Gabe and Dante especially were two elite players and, and <clears throat> really had big senior years, which is what you want out of your out of your guys. And, and, you know, we're optimistic that our seniors will do the same this year. Shelton and Marquise and Eli and David are, are guys that are, you know, proven players and been in our system. And, and uh, you know, I think they're, they're still pretty hungry. And I think that's what's really important. Um, are the guys willing to still work at the level you need to work after experiencing some success? And, uh, you know, I think right now our guys are proven that we are. And, and uh, But we're still trying to figure out the best way to play uh, a little bit with this team. We're, we're going to have to modify a few things, change a few things. And, uh, you know, that's what this kind of year is for. Coach, how have your guys mind to start in practice a little bit earlier this season? You know, the one – Strange thing with this season is with us getting four hours a week uh, to work guys out starting in the summer, it, it it hasn't been as drastic a change in terms of of uh, practice. Um, you know, we, we were going basically four times an hour a day uh, earlier in the year, late August, you know, most of September, and then you kind of jump into real practice where you're going a couple days and giving them a day or two off. and. They've been good, uh, as you would expect. I, I think our guys are excited and enjoy playing, and I think that's that's really important. And um, you know, we've we've got some new guys that you know it's taken a little while to try to get them up to speed with what we're trying to do, our expectations, how we do things. So um, you know, I you know we've had a couple good days and a couple days that, that we need to be better. And uh, but at the same time, I think our older guys have done a really good job of trying to lead and beginning to lead and. And uh, they seem in a good place, and that's really important for this team. Brian, do you let the new guys kind of take the lead at practice because they've been through your system? The year. older guys, you the mean? Guys. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. yeah, for the most part. Um, you know, we, we're trying to encourage those guys to be a little more vocal. I don't think that Marquise and Shelton are naturally as, as vocal as certainly uh, Dante and Gabe are. Uh, and so that's an area of improvement. Eli's doing a good job. I think he always has tried to to really help the younger post players and new guys, Javen White for us, uh, Jonathan Bear. And, and uh, you know, so that's been uh, nice to see. Um, you know, but we do need – we need Shelton Marquise to be a little more vocal. Um, I think they, they practice hard. They're, uh, you know, they certainly show the guys what to do. But I think there are times when they've got to be a little more vocal and – demonstrative about things that we need done in practice, especially when we've been in some competitive scrimmage environments. But, uh, you know, in terms of the the way we work, how we approach things, those guys have been terrific. And, uh, you know, couldn't be couldn't be more pleased with their attitudes right now. When you look at the, when you look at the uh, production of Gabe last year, especially down the stretch, you know, how do you replace that? And is it by committee approach uh, replacing that? Yeah, there's not going to be one guy that's going to come in and do what Gabe did. Um, I think he made 80 some odd threes last year, and and we don't have a guy that's really, I think, ready to do that. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, a bunch of guys, a lot of these older guys, continuing to get better and improve. Eli, you know, may have more points. Uh, Shelton Mitchell might have a basket or two more. Um, you know, we'll we'll insert other guys into those spots. David Scara, uh, John Newman, a freshman, I think, is has looked good, especially defensively early. Um, you know, and so we'll have to do it in different ways. I think Amir Sims is a guy that certainly, now that he's got a year under his belt, is going to be more comfortable, more confident, worked really hard on his shooting in the off season, And I would look for him to shoot the ball a little bit better and, and more consistently uh, from the perimeter this year as well. Coach, you mentioned Bear and White a minute ago. Bear won't play this season, White will. What, what did you see from him? It looks like he's a pretty good rebounder. Yeah, uh, Javen is a good rebounder. He's a good athlete. Um, you know, he's still learning a lot. He played primarily zone at, at Oral Roberts, and so there's been some adjustments in terms of our defense that's, that's probably got him a little behind where I thought he would be uh, at this point. But uh, in terms of physicality, pretty good, and rebounding good. Um, you know, he's, he's just 
he's getting a lot thrown at him right now, um, you know, and then competing every day with Eli has been good for him. Um, Jonathan Bear is a, is a very good talent. I tell you, he's uh, six nine and a half, maybe six ten long. You know, he's moves extremely well for a guy with his size and length. Can make a perimeter three. Uh, really excited about his future. Uh, you know, and and he'll get stronger. He's already put on eight or nine pounds since he's been here. Um, but he's got a bright future the next two years at Clemson. Right. Yes. Yeah. Is a player that this year you expect to take a significant step forward, and what do you see? Yeah, I do think he will. I think Amir will uh, certainly score more. I think he's going to get more shots. I think he'll be on the floor more. Um, you know, he's he was a – or is a mature young man. He's a guy that – that's part of why he played as a freshman last year is he was able to retain a lot of the information. And, uh, you know, physically he's obviously a big, strong guy. Um, but the mental part of it is what he was really impressive – or how, why he was so impressive to us as coaches last year was his ability as a young player to just kind of play with some poise and and uh, and really understand a lot of the things that we do quickly. And uh, now I think it's more of just getting comfortable, uh, figuring out some different ways to, to score. We got to do some some things where we'll probably put him in a few more positions to get shots, whether it's posting up or or uh, rolling up out of a, a pick and roll situation to get a three and. Uh, so I do think his scoring will go up, and I think he's a guy that's that's really worked hard to improve. Is there a challenge that comes with having some success and trying to handle that in the right way? Yeah, there is. Um, you know, I think human nature is that we all kind of take our foot off the gas a little bit when we experience some success in life, and uh, we get patted on the back a lot and, you know, feel good about ourselves. Uh, I, I don't feel like our – and we've talked about that with our team a lot, uh, really this summer and I've had a lot of conversations with our older players about that but I don't see that in them right now I think right now they've been pretty focused um, mature I think they have things that they want to do in this game and they know that they need to have productive senior years to to, to try to help reach those goals uh, but at the same time you know the challenge then is to make sure that everything's directed towards our team and what's best for our team and you know, sometimes you never know that till you start playing games. But uh, I've been very pleased with our seniors. Uh, I think those guys have worked uh, hard this spring and summer and, uh, you know, excited to see their games develop even more this year. Coach, life in the ACC is never <coughs> easy, but they didn't do you any favors this year, starting uh, at Duke, at Syracuse, UVA at home. Do you think that, that uh, early good start kind of created a little bit of sense of urgency with the guys? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a little ways away for me to be thinking about that right now. I've uh, got a lot of other things that are more pressing. Certainly in our league, you're going to have stretches like that uh, where you're playing, you know, top 25 teams consecutively and on the road. And, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll approach those things when we get there. So uh, I'm not really as concerned about that right now. Outside the ACC, your out-of-conference game is quite challenging in its own. Can you speak to on some of those games? Yeah. Yeah, Mississippi State game uh, was a game that, you know, we were looking to do a neutral neutral court game with a top 25 team and you kind of bounce around a couple different options and kind of landed on that one. Um, and I, I think their their program has really improved. Ben Howland's done a great job there. They're a loaded team, tremendous guards. Uh, uh, you know, really, I think, going to have an exceptional year. And so I think that's a great game for us to go play in a neutral setting. Um, you know, kind of gets you ready for ACC tournament type play games. Um, that'll be very good. Nebraska is going to come in here with a great team. Um, you know, 120 some odd games last year has their whole team back. Uh, just missed the NCAA tournament. They kind of remind me a little bit of our team last year, a team that'll be really hungry. And I think uh, experienced players coming back that that know they were, you know, that they can get it done. And so I think that'll be a, a, a big game. Obviously, South Carolina. Uh, is always a big game for us. Uh, I think Frank's team will be even better. I know he likes his team from talking to them in the, uh, this fall a little bit. Uh, big, strong, physical guys inside. Uh, and we also scheduled a couple teams that, you know, we try to schedule a couple mid-major teams that we think have great chances to win their league. David Lipscomb, Radford are two teams that were in a tournament last year that, that you know, will be picked to win their league. and. Uh, those will be really good home games uh, and challenging games for our guys, guys like teams that you would play in an NCAA first round game type. You don't have Georgia on the schedule this season, but you could play them in the yep. game. Would, would it be nice to kind of see it work out that way? Yeah, if, if as long as we're both win, that's great. Um, 
yeah, it, you know, that would be a <clears throat> a terrific game. Um, Coach Crean's going to do a good job at Georgia. And, um, you know, uh, right now I'm more worried about Akron because that's who we play first. How did Mark Fox's son get <clears throat> Yeah, Mark and I um, have become friends through the course of just – coaching against each other, whether it's we, we had a, a series and we've scrimmaged before and just being in the recruiting circles with one another and been around each other a lot, Nike trip one year. Uh, and so, you know, just become friends. And he said a couple years ago that his son wanted to coach and that, you know, he was going to look at some schools of some guys that, that he liked uh, their programs and try to see if he could go there as a walk on. And, and so we just kind of talked it out through the course of last year and, and uh, Parker came over on a visit with uh, his wife Cindy and had a, had a really good experience and so it's been fun to have him around. Brad, what are your expectations for Eli this year? I think Eli's going to have a big year. Um, you know, he's he's motivated. Uh, I was proud of the improvements that he made last year. I, I think he took, you know, drastic steps forward, um, not just in points and rebounds and 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 things of that nature that are easy to see. But I thought he was a real key to our defense. I thought his ability to to protect our basket, to play without fouling, to be more consistent in our system and our schemes. You know, as a younger player, as a sophomore, he used to go rogue on us a few times. And uh, a lot of times that would result in bad plays and fouling. And uh, so just to get him to kind of get his energy level in the right place and to kind of teach him the value of understanding the game mentally a little bit better has helped him tremendously. Um, he's really bought into that. And so 